What's up troublemakers, Moultrie with Rumble Lab here back with another episode of the best science and engineering stuff I found this past week. Some of it's old, most of it's new, but either way it's super cool. Links to everything are down in the doobly doo below. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, otherwise give it a thumbs down, that's what it's there for. Anyway, let's jump right into it. First, Adam Savage debuts his bulletproof flying Iron Man suit. It's 3D printed out of titanium and is featured on his new show, Savage Builds. Be sure to check it out. You can watch it online. Again, link below. Oh, and remember the crazy Boston Dynamics robot? Well, they're getting a little more advanced. Just kidding. This was all fake. If you look close, you can tell. Check out Corridor Crew's video to see exactly how they made it. Craig Turner created an automatic water turret to spray cats that came to murder his baby bird. I love this so much. I'm probably going to have to make my own because one, we're about to have our own little baby bird family. And then two, we have a cat lady across the street. Which by the way, will you help us name the birds? Drop a comment below and let us know what you want to name them and we'll keep you updated about the progress in each video. I learned that a helicopter blade has to change pitch as it rotates. I never thought about it before, but with the helicopter blade spinning, when the blade is on this side, it's got a velocity going this way. This side, a velocity going the other way, and so when you add in the velocity of the helicopter, when the blade is on this side, it's going faster through the air, and on this side, slower. So to fix it, on the fast side, the blade pitches down to reduce lift, and on the slow side, it pitches the blade up to increase it. Is that cool? I thought it was awesome. Then Loudon and I did the William Osmond egg drop challenge. Long story short, Loudon absolutely embarrassed me he also embarrassed William Osman and iDubs. I'm not gonna lie, I was pretty confident in my design. A teddy bear. <laughs> what? And flowers. What is that going to do? And more flowers. <laughs> it's gonna, so what, what's gonna happen? Flowers attract bees. <laughs> <laughs> Those aren't real. It's, yes, they are. No, they're not. So I'm gonna attract the bees with the flowers and the egg's gonna be right here, and the bees are gonna come and carry the egg <laughs> to safety. <laughs> Just you wait, it's gonna work. And it did pretty good, but Loudon's? I bet Loudon's would have made Mark Rover proud. Alright, ready for rapid fire? Nothing screams wake up at summertime like being beat with a pool noodle. Dishcraft makes a dishwashing robot. Wait a minute, then what does that mean this is? The world may never know. Physics girl scares I Justine using science. I found this cool video of a SpaceX rocket taking off. This phenomena happens because the sun is below the horizon making the earth dark. But the rocket is up here and in the sunlight, so yeah, you can see everything. Wintergotten completes his marble loop. The video of the whole machine is sick. Be sure to check it out. The ISS deploys some CubeSats. Seems minor, but CubeSats are super cool. They're basically fancy Arduino boards in space that are used to do very specific things. I found this really cool GIF showing how elevation change causes this bag of chips to bust. Jimmy Darista makes some brass bot lamps. The Mars rover finally got some wheels on the live stream. Osiris Rex got freaky close to asteroid Bennu for this picture. 690 meters to be exact. In other words, basically an eight minute walk. Taylor Try shows us what it looks like juggling in zero gravity. Just kidding. It does look like it's zero gravity though, right? Actually, it's just an overhead view of juggling. Whoa. Does that mean gravity is an illusion? Last but certainly not least, my favorite thing I've seen this year comes from Simone Yitch. Basically, she got together with her friends and hacked her Tesla into a pickup truck. So awesome. There's one ginormous problem though, and it's probably the reason we haven't heard anything from Elon or Tesla about it, saying this is cool. And it's about the strength. A car's strength comes from the frame or chassis. Well, trucks and SUVs have a body, you know, the part that the people go in, and the body sits on top of a frame. For a truck, you can hack up the body almost any way you want, just don't mess with the frame and everything will be fine. 
A car, on the other hand, has what you call a unibody. Basically, the body and the frame are unified. So if you mess with the body or cut it like truckla, you mess with the strength. And most of this probably makes sense to you. Check out this ruler. Two things. One, is it easier to bend this way or this way? Exactly, it's much easier to bend this way. And that's exactly what this formula tells us. You see it, right? It's right here, the eye. Eye is the symbol for area moment of inertia. The larger eye is, the lower the stress because you're dividing by a larger number. Now moment of inertia has to do with the geometry of an object and how you're trying to apply your force. Long story short, if you're trying to apply a force in this direction, you want your beam to be bigger in this direction. The other thing is our beam bends the most in the middle. In the middle is where you have the most stress. So for a simple beam like this, the middle is where you really need your design to be right. But right in the middle of Trukla, our beam's moment of inertia goes way down because instead of it being shaped like this, it's shaped like this. Now, I'm not saying that it won't work, but it has me concerned. And I bet it has Elon Musk and Tesla concerned. The last thing that they want is the car to fold up and have another one of these situations. If it were me, I would put a strain reset in some of the critical areas and try and understand what's happening and redesign from there. But if I learned anything from the guys that I used to work with, it's that engineers tend to overthink things and overcomplicate things and sometimes you just gotta get in there and do it. And that's exactly what Simone and her friends did. So for that, a big high five with myself or with you. Anyway, this week's hilariousness award goes to And for this week's challenge, I'll challenge you to think about Trukla. On a car, what are maybe three reasons that it's shaped the way that it is? On Trukla, where's the area that we really need to figure out how to get right? And how would you redesign it to make it better? Sketch it out and see what you can come up with. Yeah, that pretty much sums it up. If you like these videos, be sure to subscribe so that we're sure to see you again this time next week. Otherwise, you have a good one, and we'll see you later. Peace. Why do people like me? <laughs> <laughs>